right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rockstar NFT. Hope you're having a great day. We have some NFT news here for you on NFTnow.com. And we're talking about DGENs are sending tokens to BlackRock for the memes. That is right, DGENs is obviously teaming up with BlackRock. And after they launched its Build L tokenized asset funds, putting $100 million of dollar pegged assets on chain crypto DGENs have been celebrating by sending NFTs and crypto to their Ethereum wallets. Now the token is going to include crypto dick butts, Goblin Town and Kaiju Kings, many of which are worth serious money at the time of this writing and dick butts are worth more than half an Ethereum. That's pretty impressive for NFTs, isn't it? Now other tokens to the build B uh Bwid L account include uh, fungible currencies sent through the US band Tornado Cash app and a great number of meme coins. Now as you can see DGENs are flooding BlackRock's tokenized asset funds with all of these awesome NFTs. You can see this list right here on the site. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Now here's the interesting thing. To those of us who are dealing with a tight financial situation, this kind of Prolificacy makes very little sense, but when you think about the nature and culture of blockchains, a few reasons are going to come to mind. One of the most important things about blockchain is that its heart is a public ledger, so everyone can see uh, when you're getting up to chain and what you hold, okay? Chuckling an amusing NFT at a famous wallet can help boost interest in that collection when you chuck an NFT at your wallet and the interesting thing is that cheering holder communities and even sometimes hiking the floor price pretty interesting stuff now in the case of sending things like dick butts meme fueled collections in which internet culture is deeply ingrained some of its behavior is meant to congratulate BlackRock chief Larry Fink on the rhetorical side of his member okay so which makes it a big crypto and pro Ethereum statement by launching Buidel and putting the hefty load of BlackRock's bags on chain. ENS gifts like Big Dick Think ETH also fall under this category. There's a tweet here about it as well. You can see some of the markets going on through BlackRock at the moment. Is this good or a bad thing? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to share that. But anyway, now there will be a fair share of rugs and scams sent to the wallet too. Always up for a chance to drain the unsuspecting scammers. Will hope that sending their NFT or token to the wallet will encourage those having a look around to click on a wallet drainer, unfortunately. Now of the more interesting things sent to BlackRock is one Ethereum sent through a sanctioned ETH address linked to a banned Tornado Cash pri privacy service. Now this could be anything from a troll to an act of political protest because wallets that have received funds through Tornado Cash are at least some risk of having accounts seized on tokens frozen as part of an anti-sanction proceeding. Of course, this attack vector is called dusting and can cause a significant amount of inconvenience for an account's owners as DeFi protocols and dApps may block wallets that have touched Tornado Cash funds in the future in an attempt to comply with the sanctions and regulations. So Tornado Cash has been banned by many countries, including the US, because they can claim the service has been based or sorry, been used to obfuscate the source of funds obtained, they sanction states and criminal enterprises. Now, while it's unlikely that Bra while it's unlikely that BlackRock's Buidel uh, fund would run afoul of anti-sanctions measures, the donation of Ethereum that has passed via Tornado's mixer to the fund could be seen as a uh, a call by privacy advocates to reassess the app's criminalization. After all, when the nature of blockchain means it's impossible to prevent receiving tornado funds or dick butt, it is unfair to penalize an address simply for holding these tokens. Interesting stuff. Pretty interesting article here today. All right, that's going to do it for this quick video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll see you in the next one.